Hey there, how's it going? Welcome back to our Caligo Overdose playthrough for the PS4. If you missed the last part, you'll find a link down in the description. You go ahead and check it out. Uh, if you click on it, it'll take you to a video, and then that video will play, and then you can watch it if you want to. This is like the third dungeon, I guess, the third chapter. I'm not sure how the game is technically broken up. Uh, we're looking for Stork, though, who is the next producer that we want to find, I guess, just so we can get to Mew. This place is interesting. I like I like how it looks. It's really um what's the word? Asian looking, I guess. I don't know. Really red, really shiny. Um that shine is pretty pretty shiny. Yeah, so we can't touch that right now. I'm really, really certain that like I have to go back and um start something. Because we saw that in like the last uh last dungeon, and it said, like, again, and I couldn't touch it, so I must have missed something. There's a lot of, like, space here. There's so much, like, nothing, I guess. Like, I like the environment. It's, it looks really good. Um, It's definitely, like, I would like to see the concept art for this, just to see kind of what they imagined it, but lots of space, not a lot of enemies, but that's 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 fine. Oh, this is another one of those word reward things that we can't get to because we don't have like the password, so I'll have to check that out. There's a lot of save points just scattered around here. Well, that's good, I guess. Um, well, the PS4 has like a sleep feature, so if you were actually in a rush and you had to leave immediately, you could just sleep your PS4. Okay, this looks like a bath. You can tell this is definitely like a typical Japanese, like the um, curtains that they put on top of like entrances for baths and stuff. So I guess we're in the we're headed in the right direction. Dochi desu ka? So I think the reason why he's asking this is because Sweet Pea in this world is a female, but like as we found out. She's actually like a man in real life. So they're like, which one would Sweet Pea be in, the man or the ladies? But yeah. Age is just like the ladies, of course. Like, he's just gonna check it out, I guess, we're just gonna wait for him. Uh, nope, I guess Sweet Pea wasn't there. Alright, we'll just leave it to you. So I guess the ladies are gonna go and, and like look for Sweet Pea. Like, so we're, we're looking for either Stork or Sweet Pea, it doesn't matter. I mean, we just want to get our hands on one of these, one of these composers. Okay, so the men are gonna stand by and the ladies are gonna do some investigation, I guess. I guess all of them are going. So, okay. Yeah, let's, let's go. This is probably just like a really easy way. Really easy way to just to just get some fan service in, I think. She's taking her clothes off. And underneath her clothes was a towel. She was wearing a towel the whole time. She's like, what will you do? Sweet Pea's actually here. Maybe they could have just put all those clips together. But whatever. It'd be weird, like, in real life. We had like people reacting like that one after the other. 
野蛮でむさ苦しい男は絶対いないし。So, this is that lady that bumped into us twice, I guess, and she's saying, like, here, there's none of those, like, weird machine looking、um, people, and there's no, like, men. There's no, like, terrible, disgusting men. So, Sweet Pea is here. Okay, she's asking, like, why? Like, why are creatures. <laughs> Hold on. Why do men exist? Like, why do these creatures called men exist? Okay, I guess they're both complaining about men at the same time in, in their own different ways. So she's like saying, or they're both saying, like, it's some kind of coincidence, I guess, that they're both in the bath talking about men. Do you hate men? And she's just like, yeah, I, I, I guess. Yeah, okay. So she's like, um, talking about like how bad like men are. They're, they're like perverted, they smell bad, they're depressing, they're violent, they're insensitive. Amamoto Ayana? I like how, like, Ayana has, like, an actual name, and then she's just like, oh, I'm Sweet Pea. She's like, yeah, that's a weird name. Are you, a, like, a celebrity or something? I guess so, yeah. So, like, in this world, she kind of is. So she's like, oh, it must be like、um, hard to be surrounded by disgusting ot otaku all the time. Men are the worst, aren't they? Okay. Even like being within like 20 meters of, of a man is, is like tough to handle. 20 meters? 20 meters is like two rooms or something away. That's pretty far. Anyway, so Sweet Pea's just like, yeah, you go that far. Even 200 meters, that's like, that's, that's, that's pretty far. So she's like, Sweet Pea's talking about like how men are like, well, it's gross when you're eating like ramen and stuff and like oil and whatever gets all over your glasses. She's being very, very specific,、um, probably from some kind of personal experience. So, like, it's really important to have, like, your handkerchief towel thing, whatever. Okay, 
そうやって女性が甘い顔するから男がつけ上がるんですよ。So, like, uh, yeah, Ayana really, really likes men. She doesn't want to give them any kind of quarter, anything, like, nothing like that. Oh, anime cutscene. Alright, so here's your fan service. This is what we've been waiting for. I like how stoic we are. Oh my god, is that Arya? Look how tiny she is. She's like, that's embarrassing. Well, you're in a bath. Like, Yeah, okay. So I guess Sweepy really wants to avoid us, which makes sense. We did kind of beat her up. Oh, so she's like really sweating. Like Sweepy's like really sweating right now. And Ayana's just like, you should get out of the bath. You. Are you okay? So, I guess she's gonna go investigate this part. Oh no, what are you doing? Oh no, she's just gonna. Just... I guess she's diving underneath the water. That's. That's really funny. Yeah, so she thinks she's drowning. That's an insane scream. What's wrong? What is happening exactly? Like, why did she scream? <laughs> That's my question. What's the deal? <laughs> oh, it's... Well, we found Stork. He was here in the bath the whole time. <laughs> Just in the bath. So he was, I guess he was pretending to be the statue that like that whatever statue was in the middle. He was that somehow. Sweet pea sun. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, so Kozuno is just like, be careful. That that person, like on the inside, is actually a man. They're giving. Oh yeah, and she's like panicking. They're giving her a lot of shit for like actually being a man in real life. But like that being said, like when I play games, I'm almost always a female. That being said, actually, like I think Sweet Pea, like what I'm seeing from her from her character, it seems like she actually like doesn't want to be a man. I she like hates it. I think it looks like. Okay, so Stork here is saying like, "Are you actually a man? How dare you? Like, how dare a man be in the female bath?" Yeah, so she's saying like, what's with you people, like, not just once, but twice, like, how many, like, you would, like, stomp all over the, the feelings of a pure maiden. It's 
So yeah, like I, I think we like hurt her feelings actually. Okay, well I guess we found Sweet Pea and Stork, so two for one. Whoa, he fucking teleported, Jesus. Okay, so he's like, you're a slender, beautiful lady, just my type. She, I think she's gonna get her, her powers, just... Okay, whatever. That's how much that... That's how much she hates men. Oh, I think... I think we beat him. Yeah, Ichige, so like, she like took him out in a single hit. Choto you, daijobu, okay. This is the weirdest, like, cutscene. This is like a brand new like chapter 2, so this is something that they made for the PS4 version. Alright, so they're asking like Kensuke what he's doing, and he's just like, leave me alone. I'm never gonna get this chance again. What chance? What chance are you talking about? To go in a woman's bath? Okay, well, she forgot her clothes, but she like ran over these guys and she's just like, you guys are terrible. You guys are the worst. Yeah, he's like, after her. Not quite. Yeah, so Kotaro's just like, whoa, was she naked? And no, she's wearing a towel, so... Wrong. Ah, so you got to... Are this gonna like I don't even Apparently like Sweepy's like really heavy because he's just like whoa like that was Yeah that was really heavy. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah apparently it was like the same weight as like Sweet Pea's real self. <sighs> There's so much going on in this scene. Okay, so this must be Stork. Okay. So Sweepy ran out with a towel, and the other ladies ran out with their actual clothes on. Okay, so I guess we're talking about Ayana now, because I guess she got her um, catharsis effect. And you're just like, wow, her too. Okay, so we lost track of Sweepy, who's really fast apparently. Okay, so Okay, so apparently Stork is not here. He must have, like, um, dressed up or disguised himself as a female and just got away in the chaos. Okay, so he seems angry. Okay, and then he's just like, you're not really angry, you're just jealous. Okay, so Sweepy got away and then Stork got away. It's funny because they called Sweepy by name and then instead of Stork, they're just like, the 
the peeping demon, I guess. I, that's how you translate it, or the peeping magician, or whatever. <laughs> so, like, that pervert's definitely still around here somewhere. Um, Kensuke, like, if you could peep on a, woman, on a woman's bath as much as you wanted, would you throw that away? No, definitely not. So they're like accusing him of actually being stork. Okay, so it's not it's not stork. It's actually Kensuke, and then he's just like, okay, well then, then you're actually also a pervert. Wow! <sighs> <sighs> Where is he talking from? So he's definitely here because he's talking to us somehow. Okay, so apparently the lyrics to this song sounds like a love song, but it's not. It's like some kind of confession. For a crime. Okay, so it's like it sounds like someone's looking after you or like always watching over you, but no, it's actually just a song about peeping. That's funny, it's always like it takes like a criminal to understand like another criminal. It takes a criminal mind to understand a criminal, so it takes a pervert to understand another pervert. Are you guys not concerned that like Stork was just talking to you but you can't see him? He's like invisible. Alright, so yeah, we can't leave Ayana by herself like this. Okay, and then he's like, well, but if we take her with us, she'll kill us. Like, her hatred for men is not, that's not normal. Okay. She's gonna do her thing, she's gonna convince her to not kill us. This game has really shiny floors, I just can't help. Alright, so... Um, we're just gonna introduce ourselves. There is one pervert within us, but... He's harmless. This guy. So she doesn't want to be here anymore, so please let her, please let me enter the club. Um, our two options here, number one is just like, you're not going to kill the men, are you? And then the second option is just like, just take it easy. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess just take it easy, I don't know. リラックス。リラックス。本当に大丈夫かよ。爆弾抱えてるようなもんじゃねえか。やるなら彼らからどうぞ。まあ、対男性学士用の思考性人間時代を手に入れたと思えば。It's funny. So he just like AG was just like if you're going to kill someone, uh start with those guys. 勘違いするなよ。敵は学士だからな。
I like how no one is referring to Stork by name. They just keep referring him, like referring to him as like that pervert. Okay, so apparently he could be anywhere. He could just be like disguised as whatever peeping. Um, so she's saying to just like hit anything that looks suspicious. Oh, okay, and then this is a tutorial about Ayana, not about hitting stuff. Um, I guess she's like a a debuffer, it says, so she'll just stun stuff. Um, so yeah, as long as you can, like, if you can stun them, you can prevent them from doing stuff. Alright, cool, that was a lot of cutscenes. That was all just brand new for the um, overdose release, because I'm really sure that this wasn't in the original Vita game. Uh, that's a good place to take a break though. We just did a cutscene basically. So if you don't want to miss next part when it comes to the channel, keep an eye on it. Get it really soon. Uh, let me know what you thought. You can leave a comment down below. You can follow me on Twitter. You'll find a link to my profile in the description. And since you're still here, I want to head on over to the channel and find another video to enjoy. There's just a bunch of more stuff like this. Uh, but as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again. Take care.